Hello, everybody. Let me just get this out of here now. I hope uh, you're all doing well. Look at that. I was oh, actually on time for once. In fact, I was a little early. Ain't that something? I was actually a little bit early for once in my life. Uh, not by much, but me. Me, 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 me. Anywho. Oh, uh, God, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have fun messing with that. Fun, uh, you know. Not the actual fun, but you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, we're finally gonna get to this. This good old, uh, Mega Pokemon, uh, Pixel Charmander. Apparently this is actually a brand. This is actually licensed merch. I didn't think it was actually licensed. I just, I don't know what the brand, what Mega Brands are. But it's Pokemon stuff, apparently. Oh, it's by Mattel. This is a Mattel blocks. Okay, that, that makes sense. So yeah, that's just what we're gonna do today. This might be a little bit of a shorter stream because this may go by fairly quick. But that's okay because I am actually kind of very low energy today. I... I'm on my days off now from work. Two days. I get the weekend. And oh my god, it's been hell. It's just been pure hell at work. I need a break now. I gotta break into this. Somehow. Hmm. Oh, I see. Now that's why it's fighting me. That there. Okay. So yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be building these little Charmanders. Pixels. It's pixelated. Oh, the bags are numbered. Thank God. Okay, oh, oh God. They're numbered and lettered. Oh my, that... Wow. Wow. <laughs> we got a lot here. We also have, like, a sorting thing? Putter Dune? Build your pixel art. Officially licensed Pokemon pixel art lets you build lasting memories of some of your favorite Pokemon. It says it right here in the thing. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it comes with a little block separator too? That's actually really handy. I like that. Okay, never mind. It's not a block separ- Oh my god! I thought it was a block separator. Looking at this, this little orange piece I was thinking of, uh, uh this guy in here. Let's just get it separated from the rest of them. Ugh. This little orange guy here, I thought it was a block separator. Uh, no, apparently. It's a hook. So you can mount it on the fucking wall. <laughs> That's a surprise. This actually might take a little longer than I thought it would. Okay. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do what it's kinda saying over here to throw specific bags in here. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna help keep it organized. A little bit. A little. Yeah. So, we got a little more prep work into this, uh, than with my, you know, usual, like, gun pawn shell and stuff. That is what it is. It's something new, it's, so it's something different. Definitely something different. But, hey, I love Pokemon. I mean, I've, I've made it pretty obvious I prefer Digimon more than Pokemon, but I still love Pokemon. Like... I grew up with that shit. I was there for red and blue. I 
I didn't understand how a Game Boy actually worked. I didn't know what the concept of saving a game was. <laughs> I thought every time you turned it off, it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll start it again later. Just start over from the very beginning every time, and then I learned what saving was. Like, oh, I was a dumb kid. And of course I chose Charmander as my starter. Why wouldn't I? And then I would try other times, like, uh, maybe I'll try Squirtle this time, or I would try Bulbasaur this time. I never actually finished a playthrough of, uh, Red or Blue, like, ever. Truly. Came close, but we'd always lose out after, uh, after Lance, we'd always lose. Just because everyone was super weak and we didn't really have proper teams. Kind of, like, solely relied on fucking Pidgeot to kill everything with Fly and Quick Attack. <laughs> Okay. Alright, let's see where this uh, takes us. Alright, so. Alright, we gotta use bag one. Looks like we're. What did I just go show here? Okay, so for the first four pages, it's just building the base. Or at least start, uh, starting from page four is building the base. Then at 28, it's putting the pixel art stuff on. And then like, and then after that's the outline. All right, let's do this. And of course, I've got some uh, <laughs> lo-fi Pokemon music going. Gen one, because this is a gen one Pokemon. This feels fitting. It's all the tracks from the game. Right now we got Viridian Cities theme playing. <laughs> okay. I assume I need that big long uh, bastard. not exactly the most optimal view for doing this kind of stuff, but it's the best view I've got, guys, without completely changing my setup. I only have one webcam. <laughs> I've only got the one. Okay. Yeah, there's step one. <laughs> Alright, next up. I need another L. And a U and a little square stud. <sighs> now, speaking of uh, Pokemon, by the way, um, I put this on the wrong spot. I'm a dumbass. There we go. Fixed it quickly. Speaking of Pokemon, after stream today, I've got to, um, well, grind a little bit. A tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Off stream. Before tomorrow, because tomorrow's, you know, more Pokemon. <laughs> we did leave off at, uh, where were we? Uh, Celadon City, yeah, we're at Celadon City now. I spent, like, oh, what, the last 20, 30 minutes or whatever of the stream just trying to gamble in the game corner and failing spectacularly? <laughs> I don't have a problem. The game has a problem because it wasn't letting me win. <laughs> like this. they go is like different colors for something that's going to be covered up as part of like the base of something when building it up is it just so it's easier to actually look at when you're putting it all together rather than making them all one solid standard color and then if 
you miss a spot somewhere, it's hard to figure out where. There's obviously some logic to it. Okay. Yeah, these are literally just... These are literally Lego. They're just Mattel Lego. <laughs> We have a blob so far. <laughs> now it's gonna take us quite a few steps in order to get anywhere. So I'm not surprised. These are very easy to follow instructions, unlike the, you know, uh, the scooter lamp I had, have. Like, it even shows, okay, these are the stud, these are the studs on the other pieces that will be covered by your new piece. So it's easier to figure out. That's honestly all I ever really wanted out of this. Just really easy to follow instructions. And so far, it is succeeding. Another L. Okay, what are we going on over here? A lot, apparently. Good God. So, like, we're doing that. Sounds like we're in either Mount Moon or the Rock Tunnel. Mount Moon, okay. I can already see what this is. It's it's Charmander's tail flame. It's Charmander's tail flame. Okay. So that makes that 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 makes some more sense now. And you. And then I need you. And I need two L's. We use a lot of these L pieces. And then a double. two greens, our little elbow, and a two stutter. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I 
Ironically enough, hearing the Pokemon theme doesn't exactly make me think of Pokemon first and foremost. It makes me think of Smash Bros. This is like the original Smash Bros, because we always played on the freaking Viridian City map. Or was it Celadon? Eh, I can't remember. I think it was Viridian City. I can't remember the exact city, but I remember hearing the Pokemon theme all the time during those matches. It was, actually, no, it was Melee. It was Melee I was hearing it all the time there. No, I can't remember exactly. Regardless, I think a Smash more than I think a Pokemon when I hear the Pokemon theme, ironically enough. a step somewhere. Something ain't adding up. Something ain't adding up right now. Let me uh, take this off. Ah, I see why. Because I gotta take that long piece I had here, put that down first. Then I can cover it up with the other stuff. Right. Right, right, right. Music always creeped me out. I was always, always trying to get out of Lavender City immediately after the rock tunnel. Like just immediately. It's like, okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Don't wanna hear it, don't wanna hear it, don't wanna hear it. <laughs> it's unsettling. That's for damn sure. It's a very unsettling song. But that's kind of the point.
Well, we're starting to get the Charmander shape. We're running out of pieces from that bag, so... Clearly we're doing it right. Step is all right. Take the last of the pieces, just kind of throw them on there. <laughs> Maybe just some gray bits, which is interesting. So I'll throw the gray bits on first. Stud piece? Oh, that, I mean, that's standard. That would be an extra of the singulars. Hmm. Okay. Because I know I used them all. All the ones in the steps, so there we go. That was everything from bag one, and now I gotta turn it around and use bag two. Interesting that we build this thing up. We make the we made the front and now we're building it up with thicker pieces at the back. Oh, I want two of these. <laughs> Learn to read, Barry. Learn to read. about the build process on this at all so far, so that's good. It's simple and straightforward, thank god. Again, it's not the bunny scooter. Ooh, god. I had to break that up into how many streams just to build? A few too many. I, lo I love it, but oh my god, I, I never want to build one again.
elbow, that, and this random blue. So I really wanted to build this today just so I could finally get it off my desk. Just the box sitting here, standing there, looking at me. Like, why you no build me? <laughs> it's only been a while since I got it. happy I am I am off right now I mean only for two days but you have no idea how happy I am I'm off right now for the weekend I'm exhausted I'm just ab absolutely exhausted work has been hell put it nicely it's been hell it's just been hell, and it's probably going to be hell when I get back. But I don't have to worry about it for the next two days. So I'm not going to worry about it for two days. This thing actually is really adorable so far. I mean, I'm just I'm looking at black bricks. Not much to look at right now, but I, I, I know where it's headed. I could the building process actually makes it already seem adorable. Let me be whimsical, okay? <laughs> just let me be whimsical. I just can't believe if I really, really wanted to, I could mount this thing on my wall. <laughs> I will hold off on mounting it to the wall. I will just use the base it has and stand it up. Twelve hours, twenty-seven minutes till flight time. Ooh, exciting! How you doing, Golden? You, ex you excited for your vacay? Hmm. Or are you nervous? I mean, flying is always a little nerve-wracking, even if you've done it a few a few times. I don't know, you said you're going out of... Wait, are... Well, you said you were going out of the country. I assumed it was vacation. <laughs> My assumption was vacation.
I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to move there, go ahead. Just follow the proper, you know, immigration practices to move, I suppose. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going. You've probably mentioned it one of the last times you were in. It's just I'm all over the place, so I can't recall right now. PG and Naru. Hmm. Okay, you did mention PG. That's right. Now it's coming back to me. You did say PG. First you played it off as a, as a joke, then you actually said, no, I'm actually I'm going. <laughs> You have a good time. Should we loop back around to the beginning? No, we're still in the first half hour of it. Hmm. Well, the play the person that put the playlist up kind of gave up. Kind of gave up and separating into what everything is going to be so currently at least the little uh chapter select you got here the next like two and a half hours is just oh it's lavender town <laughs> it's just a lavender town theme it's like no it's not <laughs> you just got lazy <laughs> and baron's going i'm not going to a it no i don't want to go into the middle of nowhere You got a Tim Hortons there. Dude. I'll be honest. I haven't really had Timmy's as frequently as I used to since I moved. And even then, the quality isn't nearly as good as it used to be. We don't know what they're making the stuff with now, in general. Like, especially the donuts. Like, just the ones with the chocolate on top, the glaze, any of the glazes on there, they're like, it's just the minute they get into that bag, they're already, like, melting off everywhere, and it's just a mess. Or by the time, or when you get them, even if it's early in the morning, the donuts are already, like, not soft, and, like, you gotta kind of bite a little hard. It's not pleasant. I don't know what's going on with Timmy's nowadays. It's actually kind of sad. And then there's just the lack of consistency. At least from when I, where I was getting it before the move. I could ask for the exact same thing three days in a row, and it would come to me three different ways. How? I don't know. And again, in the entire area I was at, I could literally do the same thing at a restaurant. Ask for the same thing three days in a row, and it'll come to me three different ways. Good lord. It's like, how is... How, wh wh why isn't... Why isn't it, you know, the same? Like, if I'm asking for... Like if I'm going to a restaurant and asking for a pasta, it should come the same way every fucking time, no matter who is cooking it. I know, some days it's super watery, other days it's like super dry, other days it's a weird mishmash of both, I don't get it. You just saw a YouTube video on Canada's most isolated, uh, was it towns or communities? Oh, when they're isolated, they're isolated. We're talking Alaska isolated. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah, when they're when we say isolated, they're isolated. <laughs> it is something. this just for the backing <laughs> top 10 most isolated communities in canada canada's most remote communities mm -hmm. and when we say remote we mean remote <laughs> Yeah, like the top half of our country is snow and ice. <laughs> like literally, the top half is snow and ice. Perfect for a new Walmart. Ironically enough, I believe one just opened up at uh, in the Northwest Territories. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically enough, I believe one did just open. Oh, I can go basically anywhere, really. Except, I think, you know... I can't remember what American, like, chain tried to break into the European market and failed spectacularly. I mean, I remember when Target tried to come back here into Canada, and they failed. Spectacularly. Like, oh my god. I got to enjoy going to a Target for a short amount of time. Uh-huh, I'm suddenly missing a piece. Hmm. Wendy's and Cut? Ooh. Maybe get it, huh? Wouldn't have thought Costco. Huh. Hmm. Wendy's I can kind of see. Mostly because McDonald's is kind of the king. Every literally the king everywhere. They got the chokehold on it. It'd be really hard at this point for <laughs> another American fast food brand to try to break into a European market. There's way too much competition from, uh, you know, the good old the golden arches there. Swatch tool? What the hell? Oh, I see. I see. I see what this thing is. C and D, and then that's when this comes in. That's why it has them separated. Uh, 
And that's why I wanted me to do that. I can look at what it says here. Put A whatever in here. So I just got to go to that corresponding color using my swatch here that I'm making. So I know what color is what letter. That's actually kind of neat. I like that. swatch <laughs> after completing a line use the tool to straighten the piece oh, okay I place them down and I can straighten it out with the okay that's actually really nice that's handy all right and well I already did the thing here <laughs> so I just have to do what the instructions say this bad boy back over. Alright. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna make the Charmander. Charmander for Golden. What are you going ew for? Charmander's cool. Literally worst starter. Okay, from a gameplay perspective, yeah, it's the worst one to go with right away, but whatever. I like him. He's cool. I think he's cool. I had a choice. The place I went, I had the choice of Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, or Pikachu. I went with Charmander. Also has the second uh, most amount of bricks to build. And I believe Bulbasaur had the least amount. And of course Pikachu had the most. It's okay to admit you, you were wrong. No. I'm not wrong, sir. Nice try. Yeah. 
times again. Now we're going with a J and a D. And two eyes. Are your fingers sore from all those flat pieces? Uh, a little bit, but not as bad as uh, you think. It isn't too, too bad. How you doing, Mari? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm glad to not be at work for the next two days. <laughs> <laughs> I am super glad. Finally getting a break. Yeah, finally. Oh, gosh, it's just been awful. Absolutely awful. This thing is actually really cool. I like this. Hmm, bright, blue, bright blue on the live chat screen, gray on my screen. Oh, you're talking about the colors? The name, the co uh, name colors? Uh, huh. Weird. Don't know why hers would be different on yours. Might be readability mode. Oh, probably. Okay. Maybe. Probably. The yeah. It also that too. The mobile app. The mobile app probably too. I still got more to go. I got the tail flame to do. set up. Did you pour water on the Charmander tail flame? No, I'm not gonna kill a Charmander. Why would I kill a Charmander? That's, that's mean, Golden. That's just mean. What does kill him makes him strong. No, Golden, that's not how that works. That is not how that works at all. I kind of know, I have an idea of when I'll be finished this when I run out of stuff in this box. <laughs> but I, I actually really like how this was set up. Having little cutouts inside the box to put the different uh, 
colored flat pieces and then have, letting you, having you make a swatch so you know what colors are what, you know, letter. So you can easily pick and put it on here. So good job, Mattel. That's actually a very good move here. Cool ass kid, I want one. Uh, yeah. they're, they're on Amazon, shockingly. Well, not so shockingly, everything's on Amazon. in the what's it what are they called this should be in the title here it's either mega pokemon pixel art things so this is mega pokemon charmander pixel art there was also a bulbasaur squirtle pikachu and while well, quickly looking on amazon to find out what this thing was because if my search brought me to amazon there's also a mew Which I'm not surprised. I mean, they could make a lot of these if they wanted to. Start with a popular Pokemon first, and then start getting into more niche stuff later, because I mean, it's all pixels, so easy to do with one by one squares. And not that much. Come on! Banana War! Anonymous just gifted one subs. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Golden. Appreciate it very much. I hope your day has been going well. <laughs> Anonymous just kind of shows up and then disappears. They're, they're, they're like, you know, they're like that tall tale. Just come in with the wind and are gone with the wind, all in the same night. <laughs> yeah, we love Anonymous over here. <laughs> Come on, banana war! Banana, banana, banana! That reminded me I gotta renew my sub LOL. <laughs> oh my god, thank you Mari for renewing your sub with Prime. It's been 13 months, you've been doing that for 13 months. Hell yeah, let's go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do the tail flame one first because it's just easier singular blocks before everything gets thicker and we also have a hype train going we're at 62 percent for this hype train let's go If you want to know where the hype really is, once we get off this crazy train, uh, you're going to want to go and check out Mari. Uh, the, the hype never ends. The energy is always high and gets higher. Uh, we're well past uh, you know, the atmosphere at this point. We're shooting toward the moon, which is also where your sides are going to be from just, you know... Just from all the all the things she happens to say whenever the game decides to break on her and her reactions to said breaking. So, if you guys just do me an absolute favor, go and check this wonderful, wonderful person out. That would be amazing. Bitch, where is it? Use your keyboard to do that. Right here. 
<laughs> it's right here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thing I haven't made the video yet I can add that one in too <laughs> And you shattered an all-time record here with that one. You brought us to level three. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Mari. <laughs> oh, you did not have to do that. Thank you. you... <laughs> I'll contribute. Thank you for the two bits, Golden. Your contribution is well noted and appreciated. <laughs> ah, fingies. Oh. Yawning. That is me. Okay, and also clearly I didn't set my uh, things right because I should. Well, when the hype train and everything happened, it should have used that emote. You know, this emote right here. Made by the wonderful Lumi Mari, by the way. She makes her own emotes and are really, really, really damn good emotes at that as well. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, she even has, uh, you know, her own version because she made her version first. <laughs> Have I mentioned how uh, much of a talented artist Mari is? Because if I haven't, uh, Mari's an absolutely amazing and fantastic artist. She's made that emote, the, the hype train emote here we have, my hype emote. She's made my banana plush uh, profile picture. She made my logo. There is no end to what this woman can do. <laughs> there is no end. Oh my god, you're gonna make me pee. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> find an emote artist at some point. Well, if I didn't show for Mari enough, she also does do commission, so if you click on her profile there, it can lead her to her commission prices and everything, and can go from there. Assuming she has them open right now. But she does do them. She does do commissions. I know she does. She'll even do some commissions on her coffee as well. I mean, that's where the plush is. That's where the plush uh, came from. You can also get your logo on there. Again, she's incredibly goddamn talented. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I do indeed. There you go. Indeed she does. <laughs> Do, 
You're too kind. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I can be kinder. <laughs> I can be even more kind. I'm just low energy right now. This is low energy, Baron. <laughs> Alright, we we got the hype we got the level two hype train, y'all. So if you contribute, you get the emotes. I got that one. The heck is this thing? Henlo? Oh my god, that's adorable. I also need to actually get back to streaming again. It can be a struggle. So yeah, thank you everyone for the gift subs and the bits for that wonderful hype train. Smashed our all my all-time record here too. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> what the fuck I want that berry mode? <laughs> did did you not get one? I, I assume I got unless that's just I don't know, do I have that in here now? I gotta check. I've been part of so many hype trains. Oh yeah, I have it now. I have so many hype emotes. Like, it is ridiculous. There we go! <laughs> there, there it is. God, that thing is actually really goddamn cute. I assume you got something as well, Golden? Because you did contribute. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Hype Train catalog is uh, extensive. Yeah, mine too. Hold on, it might be easier if I just count. have 99 uh, hype train emotes <laughs> that's how many i've been a part of at varying levels <laughs> over like the entire time i've been here on twitch even as just a casual viewer well not even casual obviously i was giving stuff toward the hype train i got a ridiculous amount of hype train emotes <laughs> I know for a while there, it's like I couldn't get any more because I just got them all. But I def they've definitely got more now. Definitely do. I may or not sneak my way into Hype Train often. <laughs> hey, just takes one bit to get you onto that Hype Train. Once it's in progress. Hell, even just I think in general. I mean, it depends on the uh, creator settings. You know, you can change it so in order to start the hype train, more has to be given. I, I just have mine on the lowest because why not? There's no point in, like, making it... Yeah, I need, like, uh, I don't know, uh, 3,000 bits or 
10 gifted subs to start a hype train. Nah. Nah. I mean, some will do that just to kind of, you know, just to stave them off from happening way too often, especially if they have very generous communities. But then others will just turn them off in general, which I'm amazed you could turn them off. going back to one of your earlier messages there after you take a little bit of a break sometimes from streaming especially if you're like kind of starting out it's hard to get back on and do it again <sighs> streaming might seem like easy peasy on paper but a lot goes into it can be pretty, you know, exhausting. And you gotta be kind of in the right mindset thought some days to actually be able to do it. Oh, I'd love to, but computer. Mmm, yes. Yes, computer. does not see me as a friend right now oh yeah that's no fun we gotta kick that computer's ass i'm sorry golden we gotta beat it up <laughs> oh, wait, i don't need that kind i need hey Now I'll just treat it like my girlfriend's parents treat the kids. And oh, good lord. Wow. My girlfriend is Southeast Asian. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I didn't want to pry them up. Charmander is slowly loading. It's coming together. <sighs> yeah, fingers are starting to hurt a little bit pressing down on these files. Thank you. 
eventually see if there's any kits I want at all. Just so I can do a proper gunpla and chill stream again. Eventually, kits I'll want will show up in the stores I look at, at reasonable prices. So I'm not about to spend like a hundred dollars on one kit again. Just because it's older, technically. Spend $99 then. That's not a hundred. Oh my god. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. much of the, you know, Charmander left to go here. The best kind of... Oh. What do you mean, oh? I was gonna say the best kind of correct you beat me to it you you'd really think I wouldn't say it <laughs> that quote is memorialized in my brain for life me and my friends always say it every time someone brings up a technicality and say we're technically correct someone follows up with the best kind of correct every time Every time. Also, apparently I'm done with this. Huh. A lot of extras, apparently. Alright. I'm on to the last bag. Charmander. <laughs> He's adorable. Alright, what's it want me to do here now? Okay, it wants me to use some of these, too. Okay, I see now. You use the black pieces in there, the singulars, for this. Okay. Duh. I was like, wait, where, where, where are they? It's like, oh yeah, I'm, I was using them to make this earlier. just making the outline flat so it actually looks completely like pixel art that makes sense that makes sense I can probably then guess where what size of tile goes where considering it's all between you know one two three and four
Yeah, I knew this wouldn't take that long to do. I'm not surprised. This is a nice quickie. About an hour and a half. Yeah. Figured. So it'll be a bit of a shorter stream for today. Just a little bit of one. I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna bother looking at the instructions now. I'm just gonna start placing tiles where I believe they go. Could it end just could this end disastrously for me? Yes. But I like to live dangerously. Singular ones to fill in the rest of the holes. Oh, missed one. Right here. There we go. There's our pixel charmander. <laughs> So then we got the base. But it wants me to build up more. Okay. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Thank you. And come on, you bugger. just make this one big solid piece why did it ha uh, they probably use this base for other things you can attach things to it probably different kits have different things for it and then we go into the hole and then into the hole and Voila! There's our little Charmander. And then again, hilariously, this orange piece is not a tile separator like I thought. No, it's a hook for you to mount on the wall. Like, I've never heard of such a thing. I see the orange piece in there. I wonder if I can get it on camera. Yeah, that orange piece there. So this hooks underneath it. That wasn't a piece remover? No! No, it's literally to screw into the wall and mount it on the wall. <laughs> so I could take it off this base, screw it to the wall, Put it here, push it in, and then even if it were to come apart, it would still catch it a bit. I feel betrayed. Yeah, me too. But it's still cool that there's the option to, if you want to, mount this on the wall. And then Asuka said, this is truly our Neon Genesis Evangelion Shinji. Hey, Mochi. How's it going, buddy? I'm Again, I'm not going to be mounting this thing on the wall anytime soon, but... Ta-da! <laughs> Got our pixel art Charmander. I bet if you had the flat tiles like these, you could do shot. You could do a shiny Charmander. Also, now I'm stuck with all these extra tiles. <laughs> Hyper fixating on Ava still. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. As the man said himself, he's hyper hyper fixating on the, one of the genre defining uh, anime of the, of the uh, you know century, Neon Genesis Evangelion. This man is based as hell. He has the most ex exquisite taste. 
in anime, in games, in waifu, and life in general. So go and follow this wonderful, wonderful bear of a man. <laughs> that being Mochi Kuma. Stop promoting me. I haven't streamed since the 1500s. Well, I think the 1500s are due for, uh, you know, a comeback. <laughs> That's it. The Renaissance is back, baby. Yeah, there's the other ones we could I could also have gotten. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and again, found out there's also a Mew. So, yeah. Also a Mew. But nah, no Mew. Let's go with Charmander for now. This thing's cool. If I can get one of Tyrantrum, that would be even better, because that's literally my favorite Pokemon just ever. Nothing beats my Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now you get to see my ugly mug again. Oh my god. I really need to get a second camera just for these, but I really don't want to. Got my buddy Soldier start watching and he just finished 3.0. I cannot wait to see his reaction to Thrice Upon a Time. <laughs> oh, it'll be something. It'll be something. I finally get to see that. Oh my god, do not call me Daddy Baron. Jesus. Do not call me that, man. <laughs> There we go, a little pixel art Charmander. Are the tiles as straight as they could be? No, I tried my best with the uh, swatch, but uh, meh. It's still nice. It looks nice from a distance, which is where most people are gonna be seeing it anyway, from a distance. This guy's really cool. Mattel's Mega Pokemon pixel art uh, sets. I wonder how many more of them there are besides the five I know of. I'll have to look into that later. <sighs> okay. One of these days it'll catch on, count on it. Oh my god. Oh. I'm pointing the wrong way again. I'm still not used to this. I forget it's mirrored. Jesus Christ. I, I look like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I always look like an idiot. I just look even more like an idiot. Dude, I kind of want to catch something for Satchel in my medical red run, because I feel like Satchel is so iconic. It's exactly the one I'm thinking of, isn't it? It's exactly the one I'm thinking of, isn't it? Okay, not, real, not the one I was thinking of, but... Huh. I don't know what you'd catch for that. Rhydon, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Rhydon is big, and this thing's also big, but eh, nothing really is kind of like really super one to one ish. Uh, there's a lot. There's probably a few options you can go with. I just I can't think of any right now. Maybe Hitmonlee is built like him slightly. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. There we go. Sorry, my second monitor. Alright, so... Schedule for the rest of this league week. Tomorrow's Pokemon Yellow. After stream, if I remember and have the energy to, I'm going to try to grind the Mons up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just kind of get them all close to the same level, just because Bubbles is, you know, slacking. They're they're lacking behind in the levels compared to everybody else. So I want to try to make them all at least semi-even. I'm so proud of myself for connecting Ramiel and Magnus now. 
Hey man, you're gonna do it. You're gonna make your good old uh, Ava team. <laughs> Holy crap! Clearly, I am tired. Clearly, I am tired. Also, I'll try to. Uh, actually, also, I need to work on. You know. Um, the schedule for next week tonight as well, so uh, if you're in the Discord, expect to see that popping up uh, probably within the next hour or two. It's probably going to be a Grisaya week, just so I can get more of Labyrinth in. And I don't really have days where I can do any heavy voice acting, so yeah, expect some Grisaya. That's all I'll say. Anyway, uh... I don't really have anything else. I was just thought of this afternoon Garchomp is zero. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. That works. Okay, I need to get a stream before I'm literally falling asleep on it. <laughs> also, expect very pretty soon probably within a week or so and an, uh, an official announcement for uh, a collab that I have coming up that's all I'm gonna say that's all I'm really gonna say right now <laughs> the official announcement will be probably within the next week or so collab with Kendrick Lamar how did you know <laughs> Again, once everything gets truly well and finalized, mostly I need to see what my schedule's going to be for the day we're thinking of and hoping for. If it's exactly what I think it is, then it's 100% going to be a go, which it should be. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, commenting, lurking. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub. Thank you, Mario, for both resubbing and dropping a five bomb as well getting that hype train fucking going and thank you golden for the bits as well i appreciate it guys you never have to do that stuff but i appreciate it a lot <laughs> so i hope you all have yourselves a great rest of your night and i'll see you next time